Hello and welcome to another movie review here on my channel. Today we're going to look at Atomata, a sci-fi movie, sci-fi thriller. Maybe not thriller, but sci-fi anyway. Atomata, Atomata takes place somewhere in the future, I can't remember. It doesn't stand here either, so, but it is in the future. Uh, some flesh have basically hurt the earth a lot and because of that they need to live in some places that is doesn't have that much of sun. If they are too much in the sun, the the red radioactivity will basically kill them. So yeah. Uh, to help them with in this new world, they basically created robots or machines that will basically help them in their daily lives with building uh, cities, uh, helping them with daily things like kitchen work and everything. They do a lot, but of course there will be some problems because otherwise we wouldn't have a movie. We follow the char Antonio Banderas character. I'm reading it from here because I can't remember his name out of back in my head basically. Uh, I can't. I don't know. Anyway, he's one of one of the guys that actually works for this company that is basically creating these robots or machines. He goes out sometimes and check if they work correctly, and yeah, some people are trying to get insurance money, insurance money, and saying that they doesn't work correctly, and he is basically the one that is trying to prove them wrong. That is basically the first thing you will see in this movie, except for the introduction that basically tell you why they are in this situation. Later on, he actually, f you will find out that a robot is trying to fix themselves. Uh, um, I think it was before this actually him actually entering entering the movie, but a robot basically fixing themselves, and that is basically not legal in this world because they, the robots have I think it's two rules and that is basically you need to listen to all humans and may well take care of them and you can't do some something to you something like that it's really similar to iRobot which I actually had done a better worse for but um, these robots have basically broken one of the rules and that is, of course, really bad. This company can't have it, so they are trying to fix that. Because, but Antonio's character are trying to... Uh, he has seen this uh, in the slums outside of the city and are trying to stop this robot or ask him how he actually did break the rule, basically. But the robot kills himself by, well, suicide. Yeah. A robot taking suicide, really sad. But I don't. You can Throughout the movie, you don't really feel anything for the robots, in my opinion. Um, they don't. Of course, they are characters, but they feel more like robots, <laughs> as they should be. But you don't really feel anything from them, and they're trying to make you feel from thing for these robots. But I don't feel that much for these robots, especially. But. Later on you will see him trying to figure out more and more about this, but later on the company is trying to kill him because he's trying to figure out why uh, this actually are happening. Uh, they almost succeed, but uh, Antonio Scartes ends up in the desert. Their radioactivity are basically really high. And he has taken with him a prostitute robot basically. Uh, can't remember the name. I can't remember any of the characters' names in this movie. But they ended up in a car crash, and uh, Antonia's character basically faints, and she she is taking a lot another group of robots that basically coming and take, and she joins them, and then take Antonia's character with them to a secret place there they live. Uh, after a while, these companies are basically sending people after him. They kill off two of the robots in the four robot group. 
and they start to continue and continue until they get to the site they, they basically live. And in the end, you get a fight between Antonio character, the robots, uh, the originally the super smart robot that basically destroy these rules, and the company. Uh, what I haven't mentioned yet is that Antonio Scourge had a wife that was pregnant. She gets birth to a baby girl, I think it was. And they, the company basically take her with them and say they will kill her if he doesn't show up in front of them. Uh, of course, he saves the day. Uh, the company basically uh, lost this fight. The robots, the surviving robots basically goes away in, in the... Horizon and Antonio's character and his wife and child are also going the other way to the horizon. This movie is mediocre, mediocre as, at best, basically. Uh, it doesn't have the appeal that some other sci-fi movies actually has. It's, it says that it is a thriller, but it doesn't feel like that. It seems more like a sci-fi movie. Uh, the characters you don't really care about that much. Uh, Antonio's character is basically the one you care the most for, but that's because he is the main character and you want to see him do stuff. Even if this movie is kind of long, and it's, it doesn't feel like that in my opinion. It's 100 minutes long, and it feels like an hour basically. But during that 100 minutes, nothing really happens in my opinion. Of course, you get some side stories, you get this and this and this, but it doesn't feel like anything is actually happening. You don't get any answers, they give you more questions, and that is just weird in my opinion. What I mean with these questions is, how did this uh, first smart robot that I briefly mentioned actually break the rule at in the first place? How did he actually, well I don't know, how did he actually accomplish that? Uh, of course, he dies, and the question doesn't get answered, basically. They create a weird insect light robot as well. Why? Why? <laughs> that one survives in the end and follows the Pussidute robot to the end. Uh, what more can I say? There are more characters that doesn't make sense. Uh, the company basically talks about our one the first ever robot that actually has a mind of its own uh, and they have basically his brain in, on a USB stick. Uh, but why did they even mention that? Uh, well the, that plot line does, doesn't get resolved. It's just that they throw a lot of you to you but nothing really happens with the storyline. So that's a big problem in my opinion. And the characters, as I said, are boring and doesn't give you too much to care about. Uh, many console effects and environments, they are amazing. It's a really beautiful looking movie and the robots look real. And it's really weird, <laughs> actually. It's a, such a mediocre movie, but the effects are amazing. But when you see a, a great movie and the effects are are mediocre. I don't know. Anyway, I mean the act, the storyline and acting, of course. But of course, I will give this a rating and I will give it a 4.3 out of 10. It's a mediocre movie that could have had a lot more going for it. It could have, if they just would have answered some questions and would have just finished one of the storylines they actually, uh, well, come up with. It could have been just a lot better, a lot better in my opinion. It would have been a much better movie. But they didn't do that. They just gave you more and more questions, and overall, you didn't care that much for what actually happened in this one. That's all for today, folks. So, see you next time. Bye.